It's time to talk about feelings. Because fonts create feelings, good feelings and bad feelings and don't care feelings. This video is about the different categories of typefaces, what kind of atmospheres they create and for what kinds of text they are suitable. So, ready to get started? <laughs> this is just a slow intro, it's so feeling and slow. I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to use it. Ready to get started? Then welcome to Pimp My Type. Hello and welcome typography enthusiasts. My name is Oliver Schoendorfer, user interfacer. This user interfacer. Pimp My Type is here to help you show the full power of your project through typography. So, what feelings do you want to convey for your project? This is the question. And this kind of brings us back to one of the questions I asked in a previous video. What are the key values of your project? What atmosphere do you want to create? When you answer this, you can think about the palette of typefaces there are and what fits best. There are a lot of ways to categorize typefaces. But it's hard because it's not just a historic or a stylistic thing. Everything's mixed up ki some kind. A very broad overview of some kind of categorization is sans serif, serif, slab serif, script, handwritten and display, which is, yeah, put everything else in there. Starting with sans serif. Some popular examples you see here like Gilsans, or Roboto or Myriad and they might be perceived very modern, clean, minimalistic but they also could be dry, technical. You basically could use a sensor for any kind of text, the category, but it always will depend on the typeface of course. Moving on to serifs. Popular example here might be Georgia or Times New Roman and they are conceived very traditional, classical, established and trustworthy, but also warm and noble. It's, it's depending on how you see it and what fits your project. Maybe it's also old styled or dusty. So, and you can use these kinds of typefaces for display text, body text, functional text, depends but it might get a bit clunky in the smaller sizes, wouldn't, wouldn't suggest using it for this. And then we have slab serifs. These are ser uh, typefaces with very strong serifs and they could seem very confident, stable, striking, solid, but also maybe clunky and a bit goofy, like westerny always depending on the context. And like with the serif fonts, for functional text, they might not work that well, but they could, depending on the typeface. I'm saying so many times depending on the typeface in these videos that you should make a drinking game out of it. Let's move on to script typefaces. And these are the typefaces that more or less relate to handwriting and script tradition. They might appear very lively, individual, playful, but they also could be very expressive or elaborate, noble, uh, of course, skillful, depending on the details. Bello script, for example, is more casual and cool. Snell roundhand, this is something you would typically find on a wedding invitation or something very noble. They won't work for body text, no way and they also won't work for functional text. This is something for a headline or a very short text on your body text. Coming to handwritten, this is a bit similar. The script typefaces are more for, um, let's say, calligraphy and the craft of writing. And handwritten is more approachable. Like it could be handwritten by anybody, by somebody, which makes it very personal, human, natural, friendly and authentic, down to earth. But when you pick a font that wants to appear handwritten, think about that it has some alternate characters, that it has some open type features where 
things are swapped out, that not every T and every A in the word looks the same, like in this example here, where handwritten. And because you want to create this illusion of individuality and then you instantly destroy it by making it obvious that this is something out of the box and not something individual. So pick a typeface with, there are good typefaces with some varieties. And also again here, only use this for display text. Which brings us to the last one, display typefaces. Have fun, choose whatever you like. Expressive, interesting, atmospheric. These are very themey kinds of typefaces you want to pick. And it's hard to put them into any category at all. So use them for display text, enjoy the vibe of the project. And these are the kinds of things that you see before you read them. So you can really set an atmosphere. All right, I hope this video gave you a broad overview of what kinds of feelings you could convey with your project and motivates you to go out there, pick a font. Go out there and pick a font. And if you want to share it to me, leave it in the comments below. If you're having trouble finding inspiration for your next project, why not subscribing to the Pimp My Type newsletter? Link in the description below. There I send out every Friday, where it's Font Friday, a font recommendation and every second font is a free one. I would love to see you on this mailing list. And as always, hit that red button that says in terribly spaced all caps letters, subscribe and hit the bell. See you next time. Doch manchmal fühle ich diese Welt, sie braucht mich. Die meiste Zeit, da fühle ich überhaupt nichts. Ich hab Gefühle, Fühle, Fühle, Fühle. It's time to talk about feelings. Don't hurt my feelings. Because font follows feeling. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> font follows feeling. Quote me on that, please. I need somebody to quote me, please.